An out of shape, frail asthmatic Compton kid became the league's most unlikely and unique superstar, but he couldn't have done it without his family, his mom especially. You created your own path. The hours in our driveway paved the way to state championships. Follow through, like, shut your free throw. I'm like, mom, you don't even yeah. play basketball. Like, <laughs> Let's discover everything you didn't know about the Beards family. James Harden's father, James Harden Sr., was a naval seaman who became involved with drugs and spent a lot of time behind bars. As a result, he was absent for the majority of his son's childhood. Manja Willis was the spouse of James Harden Sr., who gave birth to their son, James Harden Jr. The connection between James Sr. and his kid has always been strained, and it was obvious by his performance in school. According to reports, James Jr. refused to use the term Jr. when writing his name at school at the time, and even though James Sr. later showed up in his son's life when he was out of jail, James Jr. still had no interest in his dad, and to this day, he refuses to use Jr. when he writes his name. James Sr.'s wife, Manja, took on the role of both parents while he was away. She always managed to find time for her kids despite working at AT&T. Manja Willis is the mother of James Harden and was born in Bellflower, California on the 13th of November, 1961. Prior to James, Willis had two other children, Akili Robertson and Arnique Jelks. Money wasn't readily available when Willis was raising a family in Compton, California, but she managed to make ends meet as best she could. She was in a predicament where she was trying to raise her three kids by herself, and it was hard. She worked hard, and she managed her money wisely because she knew that it was just her raising her three kids. She couldn't go out there and buy Louis Vuitton purses and other designer items when she knew she had to buy her son tennis shoes, or buy her daughter a dress, or get her hair done, or pay a bill. Willis just had to manage her money wisely, and she found it difficult to raise her three children by herself in Compton, where murder was a common occurrence at the time. James' mother had always shown up to his games despite his father's absence, and even though Willis herself has no interest in sports, she claimed that involving her kids in sports was a way for her to keep them out of trouble and keep them active. Despite working long hours as an AT&T service dispatcher, she attended almost every game her son played in from grade school to AAU to Artesia High School in nearby Lakewood, California, where James made a game-winning shot as a freshman versus Redondo Union and bookended his prep career with back-to-back -back state championships. From there, she made her way to see him in Tempe, Arizona, where he was a Pac-10 Player of the Year and a Consensus All-American in 2009 for Arizona State University. When Harden was the Thunder's sixth man, she was a regular at games in the Chesapeake Energy Arena. Willis was also in Houston, where her son became a cultural phenomenon, fueling the Rockets' analytics revolution. She remains deeply involved in his life, both on and off the court. James once stated in an interview that his mom was really supportive growing up, as she is now. He revealed, quote, she keeps me going and motivated now too, end quote. James, the youngest of three children, was given the nickname Lucky by his mom. Before she had James, she had two miscarriages, and even when she was about to give birth to James, they had to stitch her uterus up in order for her to keep the pregnancy, so they just called him Lucky because he was lucky to be alive. She claims James was a blessing. Willis's decision to have a cervical circlage, a procedure that keeps the cervix closed during pregnancy, was the ultimate medical safety measure for her child back in 1989, and she's still doing everything she can to keep him safe, even though he's now a grown man. According to Willis, the job of a mother never stops. She retired from the phone company, but she hasn't retired from being his mom. When Willis once asked James if he wanted her to retire and manage him or keep working, James replied that she should retire since she had been managing him for so long. Willis explained in an interview, quote, That made me smile, because not to throw anyone under the bus, but see how Don King just came in and took all these people's money? I didn't want anyone taking my son's assets. He had to work too hard for it. He had to work too hard to get where he was, so I just felt like it was time for me to let that job go and continue managing him on a different level, and it's been a lot of fun. In the summer of 2017, James agreed to a four-year, $160 million contract extension, which was the largest in NBA history at the time. With his previous contract, which ran through the 22-23 NBA season, he received a total of $228 million over six seasons. Add that to the $200 million 13-year contract he signed with Adidas in 2015, and it is clear why Willis was concerned about the Wolves emerging from the shadows. According to her, it's been a learning experience, and she claims it's so many trials and tribulations that a parent goes 
through when a child goes to that next level. She claims that people come at you and they come for that money. James stated once that his mother was his root and foundation. He revealed that she planted the seed on which he based his life. According to James, quote, that is the belief that the ability to achieve you starts in your mind, end quote. Willis planted the seed in her son, the desire to excel at whatever he chose to do in life. James decided to be a basketball player and has so far become one of the NBA's MVPs. Prior to James, Willis had two other children, Akili Robertson and Ornique Jelks, as we said, who we'll discuss now. Football player Akili Robertson has made a name for himself as a quarterback. Similar to his brother James, Akili is a gifted athlete, something that many people might not be aware of. James has built an impressive career for himself on the hardwood, while his brother Akili established himself on the gridiron as a quarterback. He played at his former high school, Elaine Leroy Lock College Preparatory Academy in Los Angeles. However, he was not academically qualified to accept a scholarship to Nebraska. Akili did keep playing football for many years and was able to establish himself as quite a talented quarterback. He played at his former high school, Elaine Leroy Lock College Preparatory Academy in Los Angeles. The talented football player then applied to play at LA Southwest College and later the University of Kansas. After playing college football, Akili moved on to the Arena Football League. Akili and James spent their childhood together, and Akili once described how his younger brother James nearly always had a basketball in his hands in an interview with Sean Gregory. Akili became fully established in the Arena Football League in 2005, a few years just before his brother James began his professional basketball career in 2010. Due to their closeness as children, it appeared that they were each other's best friends and closest companions. The fact that Akili is shorter than his brother was the only reason he preferred football to basketball. Akili is a happily married man now, according to a tweet from his aunt, he married in St. Thomas on the 5th of August, 2021. Arnika Jelks is the older sister to James and the only sibling who isn't involved in any sports. Arnik decided to become a cheerleader and her family supported her in her endeavors. According to Willis, Arnik dislikes sports and decided to pursue a career in the arts instead. She is currently an entrepreneur, a wardrobe stylist, a professional in the clothing and fashion industry, and an interior designer. As a customer service specialist, she has been employed by the fashion company BCBG Max Azria since 2019. Very little is known about this beautiful lady but she has three kids, Jordan, Justice, and Jamori Williams. Jamori participates in football for the Manville High School football team. He had previously participated in football for the boys' varsity squad at Episcopal High School. James and his nephews also seem to have quite a close relationship. According to Arnique's Instagram posts, James frequently features with the kids. Although James gets along with his sister's kids, he has never publicly acknowledged having any children of his own, as far as we know. Learn something new about James Harden today? Well, check out the videos above to learn even more about your favorite NBA players.